What is the fast of Daniel? Why to do it and how to do it? Maybe you've heard of the fast of Daniel before or maybe it's your first time. But you, who desire to be someone more intelligent, someone who has more self-control, someone who is closer to God, more sensitivity to God's voice, and someone who desires to grow spiritually, then the fast of Daniel is for you. So let's understand where the fast of Daniel comes from and where this name comes from. That in the book of Daniel, chapter 1, verse 8, it says that Daniel, who was a young Hebrew man, who was taken captive among many Hebrew people, to Babylon, him, as other youths, were recruited to serve at the royal palace, the king of Babylon's palace. So these youths would be prepared to serve the king. And they would be given food, clothes, teachings to serve the palace better. And the text says on verse 8, But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the chief of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. So Daniel noticed that the food and drinks from Babylon would harm him. He noticed that that would not do him any good, neither physically nor spiritually. Because certainly those drinks, you know, wine, where there's wine, there's party, where there's wine, there's vain conversations, not appropriate conversations. So Daniel did not want to be contaminated per se. He didn't want to become a Babylonian. He wanted to keep his identity as a young man of God and not to mix himself with their environment, people and customs. So he started with the food. But if you read the book of Daniel, you will see that that extended to everything in his life, his behavior, his friendships, his customs. Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself, but to keep himself upright. So even though he would be in that environment, but he didn't want to be part of that environment. But this has never been so current as nowadays. Days that people are mixed with social media, they are following dozens, hundreds, thousands, or hundreds of thousands, people that they follow, liking and following people's lives, following the trends of this world, it has never been so important to make the decision to be aware that you should not contaminate yourself with the delicacies, wines of this world. Now, I'm not talking about food, but customs, beliefs, words, information that stains you and makes makes you a copy of everyone else. If you look at people, you see that they are like a copy of each other. Even those who say, I'm different, in reality, they are a combination of many people. So Daniel purposed to isolate himself, to be different from that environment. And the text says that he asked the chief of the youths to change what he would eat. He even made a test with him, saying, Please, test your servants for ten days and let them give us vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then let our appearance be examined before you and the appearance of the young men who eat the portion of the king's delicacies. And as you see fit, so deal with your servants. So he consented with them in this matter and tested them ten days. Only ten days. Daniel didn't do only for ten days. He did that continuously. But the proposal was, 
you will see in only 10 days the difference. And this is what we see that those who do the fast of Daniel, I wouldn't say 10 days, but they're on the second day. Those who are really doing the fast of Daniel, they start already seeing the change. And at the end of 10 days, their features appeared better and fatter in flesh. In other words, stronger, fatter, doesn't mean more fat but stronger in their appearance than all the young men who ate the portion of the king's delicacies. Thus, the stewards took away their portion of delicacies and the wine that they were to drink and gave them vegetables. As for these four young men, Daniel and his three friends, God gave them knowledge and skill in all literature and wisdom, and Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. So the fast of Daniel today, it is not a fast of food. As I said, Daniel started with food, but in all his behavior, he would isolate himself from the environment and customs that he was inserted there in Babylon. The fast of Daniel today is not a fast of food. I won't eat this or that. There is the trend of the intermittent fasting for the person to detox their body, to lose weight and etc. In regards to your body and what you eat, which is very important, by the way, consult a nutritionist, your doctor. The fast of Daniel is not in regards to your body, but your mind, your brain. Let's say... It is the nutritional advice for your brain, for your head. What you bring in, what you ingest through your eyes and ears mainly. And what you do with what you ingest here in your head. This is the fast of Daniel. It is the fast of choosing, selecting information that will be useful for you, especially the information that brings you closer to God, that makes you think about the things of God. And then, to receive from God, just as Daniel and his friends, knowledge, skill, and vision for the things you must do. God gave Daniel a capacity, a skill to face a hostile environment. The story of Daniel in his book it speaks about how he was persecuted by envious people. The famous story of Daniel in the lion's den is just a part of one of the persecutions that he faced, but God was with him at all times. So we all are surrounded by lions, people that if they could swallow us alive, people that want to see us stumbling, that root for our defeat. So it is important for you to learn to connect yourself with God, for you to overcome and to come unharmed from the attacks of these lions and envious people, persecutors, this evil that surrounds you and also the society that is completely anti-God. Society promotes everything that is anti-God. And if you don't watch, you will become like everyone else. You see today, evangelical people, so to speak, that they do everything that others who are not Christians, they do. The only difference between them and the unbelievers is that they call themselves evangelicals. But the rest they do the same. So they mixed themselves they became Babylonians, they are in the midst of Babylon, and you see Christians doing things that cringe us in shame, make unbelievers to cringe in shame. Why? Because people are mixing themselves and eating out of the delicacies and wine of this world. So here's a reason for you to do the fast of Daniel and why you should do it. So for you to keep yourself clean, to keep yourself detoxed from harmful information that pollute your mind and for you to be closer 
to God. Very well. So how should you do the fast of Daniel? In this purpose, we suggest you to do a list for 21 days, and we'll start this Sunday, 21 days, in the fast of Daniel, if you want, you can start with us, for 21 days. You will only access information from this world that are really necessary for your job and for study. If you study and you need to read certain books, to revise certain topics, to do some research on the internet, do it for the study purpose or for your work. Go and do that. Apart from that, you will cut all consumption of useless information, including social media, to be surfing on stores, websites, to be filling your eyes with tempting products, you stop watching games, whatever game is that, video game, football, whatever sport that distracts you, maybe you are an enthusiast of this sport, you leave this sport aside, unless you are a athlete, that you work with sport, but if you're only a fan, leave this on the sidelines. Secular songs, songs that you like so much, you put on the earphones, you go back from work, you switch on the radio in the car with the news, the news from this world, a 99% bad news, and you only increase your anxiety levels, your worries, your disbelief on humanity, all these you will rule out, all useless informations. TV series on the TV, if you have a Christian content that brings you the message from God, then you can watch and you should read a book that has a spiritual content, especially, primarily, the Bible. Don't keep on reading other books if you have the main book and you don't read it. Read mainly the Word of God. Make a purpose of reading, one thing that I suggest the most to those who are beginners and you don't know where to start to read the Bible, is to read the Gospel of John, there's only 21 chapters, and you can do this in the 21 days of the fast of Daniel, one chapter a day, easily, and it is a reading that will bless you so much, the Gospel of John in the Holy Bible, so more Bible reading, spiritual content, to listen words as this one that you are listening through this channel, you absorb the contents of faith that lift you up, instruct you in the things of God, to attend the church more often, because the church is a school of faith where you will learn the words of God, so naturally, in a church which is prioritizing the word, and not a church, that the altar is a stage, a place of entertainment. So, the altar is the place of the Word of God, the place of ministering the Word of God. You will fill yourself with the Word, with the Spirit, you will pray more, you will aim to have your mind connected with God throughout the whole day, even if you don't close your eyes, bend your knees, or put your hands together, but in your spirit, you are in constant conversation with God. God. My God, what do you want from me? How should I react in this situation? What do you want from me? You will seek in God this direction, to be connected with God at all times. By doing that, what you will notice along this 21 days, you and those around you, as in the case of Daniel and his friends, which their appearance was different, their features appeared better, they were stronger. In the same way, you will, will notice the same, less anxiety, worries, distractions, you will be stronger, you listen to the voice of God better, and consequently, this will reflect in your decisions and in everything in your life, in all that you do. Try it. Do you accept to do the fast of Daniel with us? So we start this Sunday and count on your calendar. 21 days. Let's jump head first. And if you have any doubt, ask God. 
Don't keep on asking, but can I do that? Can I do this? If you understood the spirit of what we explained in here, you yourself will have the answer about what you should and should not do. You, the Holy Spirit himself, will guide you, as guided Daniel and his friends, and led them to understand this is not good for you. The Spirit of God himself, whom you want to please and seek, will show you if any activity that you think on doing is whether good or not for you. So ask him, and he himself will guide you. Let's together, for 21 days, in a journey to switch us off from the world and to detox ourselves from the useless information of this world and to connect ourselves with God to listen to His voice better. Later, you come back here and tell me how did it go. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.